Hi. It occurred to me this morning I was browsing Glock Talk a little bit and noticed some uh, Glock 30 and Glock 21 postings that I really haven't done anything with a 45 ACP in Glock. Uh, I know I've done a lot of brainless Glock videos, but uh, why do we need another one? Well, it's kind of fun. I thought I'd pull out a Glock 30 and uh, throw a few 230 grain rounds out there at some steel. And speaking of that, a couple of things. I get a lot of questions uh, about some of these uh, strange videos I do about my holster and what I'm shooting and uh, various things, uh, whether I get ricochets and all that. Just a couple things very quickly before I shoot this beautiful Glock 30. Uh, I use a, a Don Hume holster. Good answer to that. Just a standard outside the waistband holster. Nothing classy. It, it works. Sometimes I'll put on a Phobos. I'm just traipsing around the farm, stump shooting, plinking. Uh, just depends. But that and the, and the the outside the waistband uh, Don Hume is what I tend to use. I, I used an inside the waistband for many, many years, but it began to hurt my back. So the Don Hume is one question I get a lot. Uh, the holster uh, uh, ammo, it's usually uh, heavy for caliber, I guess I would call it. I shoot 100 gra 180 grain uh, ammo for my 40 caliber. I shoot 230 grain hardball for any 45. And I even shoot heavy bullets for my 9 millimeter. I shoot 147 grain bullets that I load. So. I tend to shoot heavy for caliber bullets uh, in whatever caliber I'm, I'm shooting. Uh, usually it's hand load, sometimes it's factory loads. With 40 and 45, it's often a factory. I'm going to shoot factory 230 grain hardball today. I do load 230 grain hardball uh, lead bullets, cast bullets. Uh, but you know, you don't shoot those through a Glock. You're not supposed to. I know people do. I change out the barrel when I do that. Uh, what else? The ricochets. I get a, occasionally a, a comment from a, I guess it's a teenager or someone who hasn't shot a lot or been to any shooting matches, but uh, if you're wearing glasses and you're, you're protected, uh, even if there is a little sh shard of lead comes back, it's not going to hurt you, and I don't remember the last time I ever got one. I've been doing this for 30 years, shooting in steel. I know in IPSC matches, you're supposed to have your steel targets, I think, 11 yards away. Uh, probably the same for IDPA. I know we shoot some even closer in SAS, you know, cowboy shooting. I think we stand right up on them sometimes. But generally, you don't have any problems as long as they're flat like these are. And uh, I think somebody saw some ricochets hit the leaves here, like whoopie do, you know, 10 feet from my feet. Uh, even if it hit me in the leg, I wouldn't, I'd hardly feel it. But at any rate, uh, don't do this at home. Don't shoot steel generally, unless you have very flat steel, hard steel, armor plate preferably. And you're wearing glasses, then you're probably okay, but uh, you have to know what you're doing. So anyway, today I thought I'd shoot the Glock 30, and uh, that is the the small 45 ACP Glock. Not the smallest, you've got the 36, it's the smallest, and this is really kind of a mid-size. I think they classify it as a, a, a subcompact, if I'm not mistaken, but really, as you can see, let me lay it down here. As compared with the Glock 23 or the Glock 19, this is a 19, there's really not much difference. You know, they're they're essentially the same size. So it's really more of a, a compact size Glock, although it's pretty small. It feels pretty small. It has a short grip. Like all my Glocks, you know, I wrap skateboard tape around the grip. And other than that, this one is stock. Glock 30, 45 ACP. So I'm going to take a few shots with it. It's a nice gun. I used to carry this. I was a reserve deputy for about 10, 12 years with the Cheatham County Sheriff's Department here in uh, Tennessee. And I carried this quite often, unless I was riding with an officer who, who carried a 40, which in the later years most of them did. So I moved to, uh, or I made sure I carried a Glock 23 uh, on those occasions. So I'd have the same ammo, of course, that the person I was riding with had and uh, magazine uh, compatibility. So 230 grain hardball. Those big, pretty 45 caliber bullets. And uh, let's take a few shots. I'm going to go for some animals today. I tend to just plink them occasionally. We'll see if I can knock down a few of those guys uh, as we plank around here. As you know, probably, this takes the, the short magazine that holds eight or nine rounds. It'll also take the Glock 21 magazines. 
So I usually reload with those. And that's what I'm going to do here. Almost too expensive to waste. I've got one more magazine, let's fire it. I'm probably running out of time, but... Okay. One of the things I do, getting a little dirty, is I uh, change out barrels when I'm going to shoot lead bullets. It's a simple matter. This is an aftermarket barrel. Put it in, spring back in. I'm trying to beat the clock here because I know this will film, I think, one gig worth. I have a magazine with cast bullets in it. So you can shoot cast bullets. I'm not sure what the issue was there when I put it in. But with an aftermarket barrel, you can uh, shoot the old classic uh, cast 230 grain hardball, which is what I shoot mostly. Uh, but everything else I shot today was through the stock barrel and uh, 230 grain uh, hardball full metal jacket bullets. Glock 30 is a, is a nice gun. A lot of people just love this gun, and uh, it really does shoot well. Uh, and I guess that's about all I could do with Glock 30. Hope that uh, provide a little bit of information for you. Thank you.